Hello everyone, this is the problem asked in K2018 Electrical Engineering. For what values of K given below is K plus 2 whole square divided by K minus 3 an integer? So, in this problem, let us assume a function f of K as K plus 2 whole square divided by K minus 3. Now, we have to put the value of K in this function such that the result of this function should belong to the set of integers so in order to compute those values let's have a look at the useful info now if i have to make the fraction a upon b belonging to an integer where b is not equals to zero and a and b belonging to z the set of integers then a must be equals to k times p where k also belongs to the set of integers also we can use the idea of synthetic division to compute the values accordingly now Let's use this idea and try to solve the problem. Now here, let's apply the method of synthetic division where the divisor would be k minus 3 and the dividend would be k plus 2 whole square. And let's expand k plus 2 whole square which is k square plus 4k plus 4. Now, I should multiply k by k minus 3 to get k square minus 3k and the signs would be reversed. So plus becomes minus and minus becomes plus. Now to get 7k, I have to multiply the divisor by 7. So this would be 7k minus 21 and the signs would be again reversed. So now after applying synthetic division, I can write the dividend as k plus 2 whole square equals to k minus 3 times k plus 7 plus 25, which is nothing but divisor into quotient plus remainder. Now, if I divide this entire thing by k minus 3, then I would have on the left hand side as f of k and on the right hand side, I would have k plus 7 plus 25 divided by k minus 3, which is, so now f of k would be equal to k plus 7 plus 25 divided by k minus 3. Now, the advantage of writing the dividend in such a format is that for all the values of k which belongs to the set of integers, k plus 7 is going to be an integer. Now I only have to make the right side fraction 25 divided by k minus 3 an integer. And in order to do that, the denominator has to be a factor of 25. So now which means the factors of 25 are 1, 5 and 25. Therefore, k minus 3 can either be 1 or k minus 3 can either be 5 or k minus 3 can either be 25 which would imply k can be either 4 or k can be 8 or k can be 28. Now for these three numbers the denominator would be a multiple of 5 and this whole fraction would be an integer. So 4, 8 and 28 should be the value to make this fraction an integer which matches with option C. So option C is the right answer. Also, in competitive exams, we don't actually need to compute this long process to get the integers. In the exams, we can just look at the options and we can substitute the values of the options into our fraction to see if the resultant simplification is an integer. For instance, if I substitute 4 in this fraction, I would get 6 square divided by 1, which is an integer. Also, if I put 10 in this fraction, then I would get 12 square divided by 7, which is not an integer. So similarly, the other options can be checked and the right answer can be determined accordingly. Thank you.